Hey guys, this is Paul Potter, the Grand Lake Guy, and today I'm going to be giving out more locations that are hot spot fishing areas. There's some brush piles there. You're going to want to go check them out. As well, I'm going to be giving out two humongous tips uh, for anybody that's looking to do some crappie fishing on Grand Lake. You're not going to want to miss it. Let's go get it, guys. Okay, so I'm at my house. I have my fish finder right here on the boat, and I'm just going to go over there and start tip number one. Tip number one is learning how to read your map and understanding the channels, the creek channels and the main channel in the lake. So let's go over here and take a look at this map. So what I have up here is Grand Lake, right here is Shangri-La, and I'm using a, a map system. I've actually got a card that plugs into this. It's called the Navionics card. You're going to want to get that. It's $99, and, it, and that's what, when you plug it in, that's what gives you this extra detail. It shows you all the lines, the contours, and more importantly, it shows you the channels in the lake. See this white line right here? That right there is the main channel, and it's going all throughout the lake. You can see it right there. Boom, it's going up here. It's turning, it's curving right here, and it's going this way, then it's going that way. When I zoom in, it changes colors on it, but there's the channel. So tip number one, understanding this channel. What you want to do is, and what I do, is I focus where this channel bends. On channel bends, that's where you want to be looking for brush piles. So right here on Shangri-La, this channel goes up like this, and then it bends, and then it comes straight up like this. On this channel bend, that's where you want to be looking for fish. So again, if I'm on a boat and I'm following this thing, you know, I'm not going to want to be fishing over here, away from this channel. Most of the time, your fish are going to be in this channel, following this channel, and I want, I'm looking for bends. I want to look for bends. Boom, there's a big bend right there in that channel. And I believe Tara Miranda is over here. So this is another huge bend in the channel. So what I would do is definitely look for brush piles in these on the ends of these bins right here that's where your fish are going to be a lot of times people don't understand where these channels are and they're fishing you know over here and and stuff this is where most of your fish are going to be and what this channel does this channel is basically the turnpike system in the lake i mean if this was a road uh there would be pike pass gates right here checking them and charging them to, to drive down this thing because there's so much traffic going down these channels and whenever you get to these channel bends what happens is this is basically a pit stop for them um, when this channel bends like that there might as well be a you know there's like three quick trips in here there's a wendy's there there's an arby's there i mean this is a pit stop they come and they exit off of this turnpike and then they go up here and they make a stop to get something to eat and that's what we want to do we want to give them something to eat so that's the so that is tip number one you have to be able to understand this channel and how that channel relates tip number two on here and you're really going to like this one is Tip number two is water temperature. Understanding the water temperature and how the seasonal changes uh, push and migrate the fish around in the lake. And what I mean by that is, so right now we're uh, coming towards the end of summer. The water is about uh, 80 degrees right now around the mid lake area. Uh, up north it's probably going to be a little hotter, you know, probably 82 degrees. But going into the fall when that water hits 70 degrees these fish are going to be uh, migrating up creek channels and back into the arms of the coves and i'll go back to the graph right here and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about so right now we're in a right now we are in a summer pattern on these crappie and the summer pattern crappie like to stay in these deep often kind of the main lake what we call the main lake um, and they like to be in these deeper channel bends right here now the other now during the fall what happens is um, as the water gets about 70 degrees these crappie are going to start moving up in these creek channels right here and they're going to be see there's a creek channel going right along in here in the fall you're going to be able to catch crappie in the top half of these creek channels so you're going to want to look for brush piles in these areas, you know, in uh, 10 to 15 foot of water where you can find brush piles in these areas. Right now, they're not there, so I wouldn't go fish there right now. I mean, you could probably catch some, but most of your fish are still going to be along these channel bends. You know, you need to follow this channel, you know, and there's another bend. There's a huge bend right here all along this channel. 
boom, there's another channel bend right there. I mean, there's fish everywhere along these channel bends. So, but and like right here, here's another creek right here. I mean, this is a huge creek. In the fall time, they're gonna come back in here and I would not even fish out here. I would fish up here and up here whenever fall hits because the shad and all the bait fish are gonna be moving back into these creek arms, okay? Now, that was it for the tips. Now, we're going to give out some brush pile location areas. So, location number one, Right here and on our uh, on one of our Facebook one of the Facebook pages, uh, one of our guides, Rusty Pritchard, was talking about Honey Creek. He fishes Honey Creek a lot, so uh, and Honey Creek is a really good area. And this right here is Honey Creek. This is all of Honey Creek. And he said he he said you know he fishes the south side of it um, all the time. So uh, what I want to do is give you the location of Honey Creek. I'm just going to give you the mouth of the cove so you know where it's at, exactly where it's at, so you can go get it. Uh, this is a great little channel. Uh, you can fish all along here. Just drive around and look for brush piles. Um, another cove I'm gonna give you, this is a really good one. Uh, so I'm gonna give you the location for this as well. It's a good location. It's a good brush pile spot. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go give that to you. We're gonna give the coordinates out here shortly. So I'm gonna give you the location to Honey Creek. Uh, this is just the mouth of the cove. I'm not giving away any spots. You're not, don't go directly there and just uh, assume there's a brush pile at this spot. This is just the mouth of the cove. Um, the location of it is 30, north 36 degrees, 33.818, west 094 degrees, 49.122. That is the location of the Honey Creek entrance, okay? So you're gonna wanna save that and go fish the Honey Creek area. It's a great area. The other location I'm gonna have you fish here, and there's some there's some good brush piles around this area. This is another spot, uh, especially in the fall. This is where you're gonna wanna go. This is just a really good spot to go. Um, is north 36 degrees, 34.724. And then west, 94 degrees, 49.657. So put those locations in there and go catch some fish on them. Uh, these are all great locations. Um, but for now, I've got a location. This is a secret location that I really want you guys to go there with me. I'm not going to give this location out because it's a little close to home, if you know what I mean. So let's go fishing, guys. Sitting here, we're going to see if we can catch something here. See what we... Oh, we know. Oh! There's some resistance. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's a hog. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's a Coors Lake crappie. Woo, yeah. Bottoms up. Oh yeah, Coors Lake crappie. Oh wait, wait, I've got to mark this spot. I've got to mark this spot, hold. All right, spot marked. All right, guys, that's it. I know we did a little bit of goofing around, but hey, you know what? Seriously, have a great weekend, man, and go catch some of these fish, all right? I'm giving you these locations. Go catch them. They're great locations. Have a good weekend, everybody. Woo!